Kathleen McGivern and I'm Ms. Artastic and I'm here to tell you that I have a free virtual workshop coming up for educators. It is a five day art making challenge where I challenge you to make five art projects with me so that way you have five art lessons ready to go for the upcoming seasons and holidays. So we're gonna be making five art lessons together. You get to uh, watch these at your own leisure. You're going to be getting some pro hours and I'll give you a pro certificate at the end that you can use if you need that for your school or your school district, whatever works for you. Um, I will give that to you at the end. Um, we're going to be experimenting with some new art making processes and materials and you're just gonna get to be able to come in, to relax, to watch it at a time that suits you best. So don't worry, you're gonna get each um, of the art projects sent to you over five days and then you can click that link and you have two weeks to watch it. However, you must register before the event or you're not going to be able to attend this free virtual workshop for the winter 2022 art making challenge. Oh my gosh, okay, so that being said, it's time to take a look at the five art projects that we are going to be making together. Okay, so the first one is for winter. Uh, we're going to be making a lovely snowman art project that you can do for some winter seasons. It is a oil pastel resist art project that also explores cool colors. So you get to try that one with me. Oh yeah. Okay, next thing is that Valentine's Day, Kindness Month, Pink Shirt Day, all that's coming up. So there is this art project that uses soft pastels. So if you haven't used soft pastels yet with your kids, this is a great one to do it with them. Um, and explores using soft pastels to make a lovely heart art, heart art project that you could use for Valentine's Day. But not only that, it's all kindness, right? This is a love and kindness piece. So really, you could use this for diversity month, you could use it for kindness month, you could use it for um, pink shirt day, all of that, right? It kind of fits in all those themes, so it's really um, something that you can use for flexible uh, upcoming holidays. Another one that is going to um, be awesome to do with your kids is an identity line art project. This one is going to explore the kids' favorite colors. It's going to explore line to use to be created, um, sorry, using line to create um, patterns and texture in a background. So that one's a great one coming up as well. Um, so another one that we're going to be doing in addition to all that is a St. Patrick's Day one. Okay, so this is a St. Patrick's Day watercolor art project. This one's for your slightly older kids. I would not say this is a, <laughs> a primary art project, but definitely elementary. You could do even with middle school if you want. This one's coming up as well. Um, that way you're ready for some St. Patrick's Day. And if you have temper paint cakes or if you have watercolor paints, you could do that with this one. No, no big deal, okay? So use what you have. I'm a big believer on using what you have. We also have this uh, spring art project. This is the other one we're gonna be doing. A spring butterfly art project um, using soft pastels and using scrap paper. So I, I love using a scrap paper bin. I'm huge on keeping all the little pieces and having kids put them in a scrap paper bin. You can, especially if it's uh, had a holiday or birthday parties, tissue paper and wrapping paper is really good if it's still like nice. And most of it is, right? So use that and keep it in a bin that you can pull out um, with your magazine clippings that are also good, right? Then you can put all that in a bin and just pull them out and kids can use them to add to art. Any little bits of like colored paper, especially like those bright papers, construction paper, I keep all the bits that are still big enough to do something with and I like to use those in my art project. So right now, while you're watching this, make sure that you keep that in mind because we're gonna be using that in this spring art project, okay? So that's five art projects that we are gonna be doing for this art making challenge. Make sure that you head on over, click the link for registering and register now because if you register on, Jan or if you try to go to register on January 3rd, it's going to be too late. You cannot register the day up. You're gonna have to register beforehand, okay? So make sure you register now. Get ready to do this. You just grab your oil pastels, have some soft pastels on hand, you're gonna need some felt markers, um, a choice of paint, either watercolor or temper pancakes and some wax crayon, just a little bit of wax crayon, really. Definitely some scissors and glue, okay? That's it, that's all you need, so grab those, make sure you have them on hand. I will make sure I email all that information to you, um, especially I'll remind you as we get closer to the day of the event, I will send you lots of information on how, on what you'll need to have, how to access it, 
all that jazz, okay? So make sure you hit that register button and check your emails for all my different uh, upcoming stuff and so that way you get the videos to watch, right? And of course, at the very end, I'm gonna send you that Pro D certificate so you get your hours done. I know some of you need that. I got you. I know this year is like incredible. Um, and I just wanna make it a little bit, like I wanna help you get through the months. So this is just going to cover some of your upcoming needs. Okay, and that way your example's done, you already know how to teach it, you can just walk in and get going. All right, so make sure you register right now. I'm Kathy McGivern, Ms. Artastic, signing out.